a group of researchers decided to give the living robots a brain. Look, I still think it's weird that these guys were made, and we're all just kind of okay with that. Essentially, if you take skin tissue from a frog and then let it grow on its own, they turn into these weird little mobile robots that can reproduce. They display somewhat intelligent behavior, they can gather up materials, and they move. Evidently, the Pac-Man-shaped ones do the best. They make the most offspring, and they move pretty effectively. I've always liked the ones with four legs the most. Maybe it's just familiar to me. As a reminder, these guys will never turn into a frog. They stay weird. This research group decided to take it a step further and see if they could give it a brain. They transferred neural cells into the developing xenobot, and they're calling these neurobots. After transfer, the neural cells will start to develop into a structure, and they end up larger than the regular xenobots, and display more complex behavior. In fact, they actually act very much like early tadpoles. Even weirder, they developed their own version of sensory organs. Those little projections you see, those are neural structures that are functional and seem to be experiencing the environment. They go out from the center of it to the outside. That was a really strange finding, that adding neural cells would try to become something akin to sensation. Of course, it was weird from the start that taking skin tissues would not just turn into a frog, but turn into a weird little structure that, you know, can move and have behaviors. You can see our little neurobot just swam in a circle for about 10 minutes there. Aside from just being incredibly strange, I don't know a lot of applications that these guys could have. Some people have suggested things like bioremediation or turning them on tasks, programming them. Others have suggested that it could give us information on how early life developed on Earth, multicellular life, how early animals might have reproduced, because these guys can reproduce. In my humble opinion, this demonstrates a sort of localized intelligence. Do not take that too far, okay? This demonstrates some local behaviors of cells, granted it is in a frog. Every cell has programming, it knows what it's supposed to do, and in the absence of a body, it can still become something. I think this also ties neatly into the local organization of tissue types for robots. We know that artificial intelligence is not very good at operating a squishy body. Localized clusters of neurons, kind of like ganglions, could help them operate it. That could be really important for making artificial limbs that function similarly to our own. The thing about science is that it's a bunch of puzzle pieces all coming together. You never know where one thing will lead to. The evidence that you can apparently assemble an organism in piecemeal and it will not become that organism but something else entirely? Sure, it could be localized to frogs. It's weird and very creepy, but it is fascinating.